Welcome to the Business Interview Channel. Today's date is August 17, 2010, and my name is Carol Menig. Today's interview is with Lucy Whitehead. Lucy is CEO of Whitehead Financial, located in Thousand Palms, California, which is in the beautiful Palm Springs area. Whitehead Financial has been in business since 1995 and offers financial services including long-term care insurance, life insurance, investments, annuities, 401k rollovers, and reverse mortgages. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Carol. Lucy, with all the turbulence on Wall Street over the last couple of years, two of the most important factors on the minds of consumers is their stability and trust in the companies holding their hard-earned money. Can you address that issue? Yes, Carol, I can. People need to realize that they have to take control of their money and find ways to make it last. That's where I come in. Unlike a portfolio manager or a stockbroker, I am a broker of safe money vehicles. I only work with top-rated insurance companies who have been in business for many years and have proven that they can both make money and be profitable and at the same time provide guarantees that contracts will allow the individual to get a decent return on their investments. The companies I represent have to be approved by the state insurance commissioner and the contracts are highly regulated to make sure the consumer is protected. Every state has a guarantee association that works much like the FDIC. One big difference is that for every dollar invested in an insurance contract, one dollar must be put in reserve. Unlike the FDIC, which only has pennies on the dollar in reserve. Imagine, Carol, being able to get the gains of the stock market without suffering any of the losses. That's what these contracts can do for people. Many of these contracts even give a bonus upon deposit of the investment. So let's say, for an example, you put $100,000 into a contract. You could start out with $108,000 before you even get any gains. Ask your banker or stockbroker if he can do that for you and see what response you get. And as for the trust issue, that's very important to me. As an insurance broker, I have to be licensed and fingerprinted by the state and I have to continue to take courses that will make me keep up to date on what's new in the industry. Anyone can check me out on the Insurance Commissioner's website, see how long I've been in business, how long I've had my license, and if there are any complaints against me. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, Lucy, in this difficult economy, the issue of retirement is on the minds of many people. Do you have any recommendations on how people can make sure they have enough money to retire and live comfortably? And can life insurance be used for retirement? Yes. Because we're living longer, it's even more important than ever to plan for retirement. Many people don't stay in one job for too long, and companies are cutting down on providing a pension for retirement. So if a person is still working and young enough, I would recommend supplementing the 401k at work with a life insurance policy. Now, I know that's foreign to most people, so let me explain why this is such a good idea. If you have 20 more years to go before retirement, you can fund a life insurance policy that will grow a cash value. At retirement, you can tap into that cash value and use the money to supplement your other retirement income. Now, some people might not know what overfund means, so I'm going to explain it to you. If the cost of insurance for a 30-year-old uh, to have a $100,000 death benefit is $29 a month, and that person puts in $100 a month, the extra premium goes into an investment account that will grow with time. The longer the amount of time, the more the account will grow. Then, when the 30-year-old gets ready to retire, he will have a substantial cash value in his life insurance contract that he can access tax-free to use as he sees fit. Remember, the death ben benefit will still be there. And the great thing about this is there's no government cap on how much you can put in the contract, unlike the limits that are on a regular IRA account. Okay, if, on the other hand, a person is close to retirement, then we must use what's in his 401k or any other personal account and find the best contract to get the money to last. It's really an individual process, Carol. Every person's situation is different. That's very interesting. Again, in this difficult economy, employment is a huge issue. 
if an individual has a 401k at their employer and they lose their job, is it your recommendation that they leave it there or move it? Well, when a person leaves his employer, he usually has a 401k account that he can move to an individual retirement account. I would strongly recommend that he do that, and here's the reason why. Most 401ks are made up of risk-type accounts, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. People think that they are in, if they're in an account through work that they're safe. But what you have to remember is that money is still at risk. Not only is that money at risk, but you're paying fees to have that account managed. And you pay those fees whether that account is up or down. The fees come out every year. By moving that money to a safe, guaranteed insurance contract, there will be no fees. There will be no risk. Usually I can get a bonus. And there's also other advantages as well. For example, some of the other advantages. If you are confined to a nursing home, you can get the money with no penalty. You can also turn on what's called an income rider that will give you a payout that you can't outlive. Try doing that with a traditional 401k. cannot be done. There is also a contract I work with that will actually double the payout if you're confined in a nursing home. For example, if you're receiving $2,000 a month income, and you have to be taken care of in a nursing home, the payout will automatically double to $4,000 and last until the end of your life. So how's that for peace of mind, Carol? Oh, that's excellent. Lucy, consumers are apprehensive about unknowingly paying hefty commissions. How do you get compensated for your work? That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked me that. Because as a broker, I'm able to check all the companies that I think will fit my client's needs, and, that the, and the client doesn't have to pay a dime for my time or my efforts. I am compensated by the companies that I recommend. I get paid only once, not ongoing like a stockbroker. I will compare several companies' offerings before I suggest to my client what I think will best fit their needs. Usually, I will give them more than one choice. And as the financial economy changes, so do these contracts. So it's very important to know what is out there and be constantly on top of what's new in the industry. Lucy, in closing, uh, please share your thoughts on why consumers should use Whitehead Financial. Of course. Every insurance broker has access to the same insurance contract. I can't give you a better contract from a company than Joe down the street that does the same thing that I do. I can, however, use my experience and knowledge to find the best contract for the client's needs and even structure a series of contracts that will accomplish the goals of the client. Here is where experience and knowledge comes in, and here is where I can make a difference. I treat everybody like they're a family member, and I'm respectful of their needs and goals. Just ask my clients. My motto is, I work for you. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. We'd like to thank Lucy Whitehead of Whitehead Financial in Thousand Palms, California, for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you very much for being our guest today, Lucy. Oh, you're welcome, Carol. Thank you. Lucy can be reached by phone at her toll-free number, 866-343-2442, or through her website at www.whiteheadfinancial.com. Until next time, this is Carol Menig for the Business Interview Channel.